I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. You're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... To be fair, Jesse did do a lot of stuff. You can't argue with the facts. That is true. I guess. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh, so what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Ah, uh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ha! <laughs> ah, so freaking cute. The other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great.
won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there adventuring? That's good, too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, <laughs> too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! A blank canvas. Is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm hmm. Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. 
<laughs> Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. pig that ever lived. Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. Saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep. Yeah. It's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth! <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben esque. Hmm? My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. Look at that regal little guy. Really? I knew that's who you'd choose! Fantastic! Congratulations! <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! Sugar! Hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey, guys! What are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it! We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob. Stone is safer. Why don't we run with that? Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime! It'll be great! Go! Ha ha! Woo! <laughs> Ta-da! Thanks, everyone! Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that, thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work! Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Thank you. Huh, <sighs> what a lovely garden. I am 
telling you, Stampy? It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Well, why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Hmm, don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Got one delicious cake. Ooh, it looks lovely. Yeah, if you're into something that sweet. Sorry, Stacy. I had to make a call. Yeah, I guess. Well, thank you for the help, Jesse. Yes, thank you. I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! <laughs> Jesse! Jesse! Give me five! And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for Founding Day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. You better. Don't disappoint me, Radar. I... I hadn't even... Thought about that being a possibility till just this moment. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? <sighs> Stupid zombie. <sighs> I missed this. <coughs> Smell? Not so much. You're late, but at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Oh, come on. You can't blame me for thinking that way. When was the last time you did this? Not even wearing good armor. And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? 
can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Got more deadheads to deal with. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me... your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, come on. Being Beacon Town's leader is fun. Of course a nerd like you would find that fun. This is fun. Us together, fighting stuff. Although... Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait! What? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see you. Perfect. <laughs> hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Oh. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Ah. Woo! All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun! Come on! And a chance. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Man, you're faster than I remember. 
You were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. You were awesome back there, Petra. Felt just like old times. Well, not exactly like old times, since I always used to win. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. Gross. Come on. Get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, Llama, Llama, Llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I've told you, I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Whoa, girl. 
What is it? Some sort of glove. Or a gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh oh. Get off the pyramid. What? What the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground. Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah. Heck mouth. I... I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, give me the willies. And... what's that sound coming from down there? I don't care whether we can see the bottom or not. We need to cover it up, now. Right! Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There! Come on! So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... that was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah! I mean, I never met him before, but... I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. Petra, you're just as much a part of this as me. You can't just walk away from it. I... Ugh, I promise we'll take care of it. Just... Why are you being so weird about this llama? What's the big deal? 
<sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. I can't believe this person tricked you. That's terrible. And so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry. We're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... Get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. <laughs> like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team, and we will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Everyone, no shoving now. We're not beacon toners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one, and he could be all yours, provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches. Oh, come on, you. My darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. 
I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh, well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Of oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Easy puppies. See? You like bones, right? Not again. <laughs> Coast is clear. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge box, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero. Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's... 
you know, nothing. But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today! We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time! It gets embarrassing. Ah, fine. Be that way. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Ha! Shh! Check it out! That's right! It's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! Ah, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> and by her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jessie. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi! Uh, you! You should not be here! This... this is, um... Uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. I gotta tell you, Stella. I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no. No, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you! You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened, and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know I don't deserve this back. You really disappointed me, Petra. Don't do it again, okay? I won't. I won't. I'm gonna make it up to you, I swear. What is that? should be impossible. Tell them that. Uh, uh, stupid cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. Uh, so good to have you back. No, you don't. Ugh. Woo! That would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. Come on, we need to get this thing covered up again.
I... I don't know how we're going to get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jax fast. Yeah. I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever. And it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. <laughs> yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. Uh, I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Maybe a little. Aw, uh, Jesse, don't be so insecure. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean... Sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not everyone's brave enough to follow them. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So cool. I have lots of names too. The people of Sky City call me the Groundfinder. To some, I'm the Wither Slayer. You can call me... Jesse. Ah, cool names. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? 
Woodland Mansion. Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. Uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-O. I... that is, uh, um... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah. And it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. I don't get it. What's the big deal? It's a glove. There's a hole in the ground. Oh, it's much more than that, friend. That pit. It's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no. No problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay. So how about you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us. Be our guide. No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... Kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Jack! Jack! Sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah! We'll tackle that temple together. You know,
know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? Then yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. You are, right? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. Almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard, but I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. Derm, I told you, it's not the admin. <laughs> Oh, fine. What'd he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. Hmm. <laughs> That's awesome, Nurm. Welcome aboard. Woohoo! <laughs> he says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? You're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on. I need to make a quick pit stop, and I can show you some real armor. So glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being Radar! next to the firework union. Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Radar, I think the town will be fine for one adventure. Hetra and I need to do this. Okay. If you really say so. Well, um, best of luck. I'll be anxiously awaiting your return. Sure. <laughs> um... Goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Yeah, he's pretty hyperactive. Wish I could get him to calm down. Maybe teach him to meditate. Like the knights of the Shuje forest. So... Where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. A strong, silent walk. Another good step. Nice. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no. I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Breaker. Nice classic name. Awesome modern look. I think that one might just be my favorite. Seriously. Yeah? That one? Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. 
Tim would have looked great in it. If he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually exists. Non-existent guys lost. My gain. The Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this one looks. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he made it, though. Oh. The Ender Defender. Very fresh armor. Hmm. Reminds me of the Puckjuk Slime Runners. Very tough cookies. Like one of the tree slashers of Kulun Bay, and that's very high praise. Now that's more like him. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize. For all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. what I get, I guess. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So, where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh, shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. blade in hand and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move. The best. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah. Let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. The Woodland Mansion? Sounds cool, I guess. Well, I think it sounds totally awesome. All right. Before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Mm. Well, hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Well, that sounds like a load of junk. Glad we agree. But just remember, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh... Perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hope that compass of yours is aligned right. 
I don't really feel like wandering around on the bottom of the ocean. Me and Nermin got it covered. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers upon Bar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. sure that we all have our limbs, how about we find that structure block? Mm. Uh, I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Just to check my enchantments. Yeah, and uh, make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa! It's uh, got me like uh, frozen in place. <clears throat> I'll be all right. Wow, it's a good thing you're better at fighting than you are at lying. Because you are a terrible liar. What? I am... Uh, I'm an awesome liar. The deceptive... Uh, deceivers of... lie Mountain... Sam. Hmm. Uh, 
Fine. Fine! I thought I was ready for this. Guys, hey! I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? I mean, she's cool. Really? Yeah, and she's a great adventurer. I don't want her to think, um, some has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. Close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Jack, is that a dark prismarine? Or something like it. those things for and it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian all right should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the guardians are in water floating in mid-air that should be impossible hmm. well if i know one thing it's definitely not the admin hmm. You won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Hmm. Why are you being so fighty, Jack? Come on. Because I refuse to believe that there's some all-powerful dude running around, playing games with my life. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Petra, I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab the sponges. Cool. I'm on it. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready, then go! Hey, Scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack. Jack! 
Jesse, we've got a jack problem. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack, are you okay? I thought you had this. No. I'm, I'm not okay. I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Hmm. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. Jack, right? He'll be okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'll get back to this. Hmm. Dark prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. door and I don't think that's what we need here. Maybe try a sea lantern? Oh, right. Here. the tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <gasps> Vars! Jack! <laughs> Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Wait. You're an adventurer? Oh, yes! 
But not all adventurers are sword swingers, you know. Anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. She has her moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, but we still need that structure block. Our hometown's depending on it. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, um... Fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh. More of those weird statues. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. Structure block's got to be in here. Hey, Nerm. Think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nermy says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin, uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nerm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. Nerm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. The Warrior Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Yeah, 
I can't believe we got it. Now, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all those freaky soldiers. Perhaps... they went away? I'm guessing no. Many of them. Stay behind me, Nerm. Ah! Ah! Worst statues ever. Oh, jeez! Big hand. Very big. I think now might be a good time for that structure block? I don't know how it works! Try everything then! No! Please! Please work, please work, please work! Thank you. Hmm. He'll never prove it. No! Miss ah! ah! Potter! All that time enchanting down the drain. Nowhere to run. Sadly, still mortal. Yeah! Touched my hair that time. Ha! Didn't work that time either. <laughs> Every block you've ever 
close to long, and I promise I will place the blocks that cover your grave. The waterfalls! Go, go! I'm right behind you guys! Um, really? What a dangerous world, Jesse. You are so tiny, and there is so much distance to cover. Also, you know, me. block goes. Slam it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. Got structure blocked! Boom! Oh, what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Huh. Yeah. I guess I did. Think that's really the end of it? Huh. Certainly looks that way to me. Then come on. Let's go home, you guys. This is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. Oh, thank goodness you're back. It has been chaos. I knew this would happen if no one was left in charge. There's no schedule. Everyone's running around unorganized. There are animals everywhere. I don't know what you're talking about, Radar. I think it looks great. Everyone's having so much fun. Well, yes, maybe, but it's fun that's clearly on the brink of disaster. So, did you find what you were searching for? liked it. Yeah, they did. Congratulations. I haven't seen a celebration like this since that crazy summer I spent with the party people of Tayak Tam. Yeah, you really brought home the goods this time. Uh, sorry, I still just bummed about losing Miss Butter back there. Oh, yeah, that was an excellent sword. Could have used a grander name, though. 
No offense. Petra, I'm really sorry about your sword. I know how important it was to you. Oh, Jack! I, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? Yeah! Wait up! Still don't know what I'm going to do about you, though. What's that? Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, Terraforia! What was it? Write the next chapter.